So hello children, this is Karthik from a physics faculty from Perfect Academy. So today we are going to discuss some important aspects of the magnetic effects of current. First of all, let us know how to find out the magnetic field intensity due to any configuration. And for finding the magnetic field intensity, we have two important tools. One is Ampere Circuit Law, another one is Biot Savart Law. Biot Savart Law is for finding the magnetic field intensity due to a straight conductor. It may be like a straight conductor or it may be like arc or it may be like any kind of structure any kind of configuration and ampere circuit law is for finding the magnetic field intensity of any um, symmetric arrangement like a, a magnetic field intensity due to solenoid magnetic field intensity due to toroid magnetic field intensity due to a thick conductor at different points one is outside inside all the things we will see we will cover all those things now let me start with the biot savart law actually the biot savart law is given for Biot Savart law. Actually, he has given this formula for finding the magnetic field intensity due to a moving charge. So, let us suppose this is the charge Q and it is moving in the space with a velocity V as shown like this. And let us suppose this is the point P, some reference point. Through this point, it is moving in the space with a velocity V. I would like to find out some point here which I would like to call as a Q. I would like to find out what is the magnetic field intensity due to this moving charge that moving with the velocity v at this point q. Now let me draw one reference line what we are calling as a position vector of q with respect to p and so this is going to be r bar and its length is nothing but r and here the velocity direction is like this here I have drawn one parallel vector. So let us suppose the angle between these two equals to phi and this velocity can be resolved into two components one is v cos pi another one is the v sin pi so this is going to be the velocity component v sin phi and now according to bayer savart law the magnetic field intensity at this point q is directly proportional to the charge q and directly proportional to the v sin phi and inversely proportional to r square so by combining all this we will write like this the magnetic field intensity i'm sorry magnetic field intensity b is directly proportional to q and inversely proportional to directly proportional to v sin phi inversely proportional to r square by combining all this let me try to frame one relation here that is nothing but mu naught by 4 pi times of q v sin phi divided by r square actually this is the biot savart law uh, initially it has given for this one for moving charged particle only but it can be modified for a straight line conductor so this is nothing but basically magnitude but if i would like to write magnetic field intensity in its vector form then i have to write like this mu naught by 4 pi times of q into v bar cross r cap divided by r square where r cap is nothing but unit vector of the line joining p to q so this is nothing but r bar that's what we understood r bar and it can be written as r into r cap that uh, unit vector only i have denoted here now let me